Hi, and welcome back to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm making fresh strawberry gelato. Now this particular recipe does require an ice cream maker, but if you don't have one, make sure you check out my description box below because I've made a couple no-churn recipes for ice cream in the past. They are simple, delicious, and you will love those too. Now this recipe comes from a beautiful cookbook. It's called the Ciao Bella Book of Gelato and Sorbetto. And just so you know, gelato is very similar to ice cream, but it has less fat and less air than ice cream. So it's gonna have a very smooth consistency and a kind of rich, pure flavor of whatever flavor you choose to make it. This gelato starts with a plain base and then you flavor it with the fresh strawberries. So I am doubling my recipe today. So I'll leave the exact measurements for just a typical quart size recipe of gelato in the description box below. Earlier, you saw that on the stove, I was heating up some whole milk and heavy cream in my Dutch oven, and then I separated some eggs and used just the yolks, and I whisked those together with some sugar until they were pale yellow in color and nice and thick. I periodically stirred my whole milk and heavy cream over medium low heat, just with a wooden spoon, until it reached about 170 degrees. Then I carefully added a little bit of the hot milk mixture into my eggs and whisked them together. This is called tempering the eggs, so I'm bringing them up to a warmer temperature before I incorporate them into the rest of the milk. Otherwise, if I had cold eggs in hot milk, the eggs would just scramble. So in go my tempered eggs, and then I stirred this and continued to cook it until the mixture reached about 185 degrees. And this will never come to a full boil, you'll just see some little bubbles around the edge. I then strained this mixture into a large heat-proof bowl through a fine mesh sieve, just in case there were any little clumps of egg that had cooked in my mixture. You want it to be nice and smooth. And then this is going to have to cool completely before you put it into your fridge. I decided to put it over a big container of ice to help the cooling process go a little bit faster. But once it had cooled, I covered it with plastic wrap and then popped it in my fridge overnight. While I was working on the custard base, I also was preparing my fresh strawberry sauce. So I sliced up a bunch of these beautiful sweet berries and added them to a medium saucepan with some fresh lemon juice and sugar. I stirred this together and allowed the berries to macerate for about 15 minutes. So what that means is the sugar and the lemon juice pulled all the natural juices out of the strawberries. Doesn't that look amazing? And then you cook these strawberries over medium low heat just for about 10 minutes until the syrup thickens slightly. So the nice thing about this recipe is that I prepared my plain base and my strawberry mixture the day before so that they could cool completely in the refrigerator overnight. So the day of, I just had to prepare my ice cream. This started by me blending about three quarters of the strawberry mixture with some of the plain base to smooth it all out. And then I incorporated that mixture into the remainder of the base so that it was all strawberry flavored. And then I reserved the other quarter of the berries for at the end of the ice cream making process. That way there would be some larger chunks of strawberries in the ice cream. I had my KitchenAid ice cream mixer attachment all ready to go. It was pre-frozen for a good 24 hours prior to me making this ice cream. I ended up using a funnel to pour the ice cream mixture into the maker just so it was a little less messy. And I think I used a little over half of the mixture, which is why you're gonna see the progression as the ice cream freezes it increases in size and it almost poured out over the top, but in the end, it worked out just fine. With my ice cream maker, the freezing process takes about 20 minutes. So at the 15 minute mark, I stopped churning the ice cream and added in those reserved strawberries and their juices carefully. And then I put it back onto the stir setting and incorporated the berries into the gelato. 
Now, one thing I learned during this process after doing some research online is that making gelato at home is a little bit tricky because oftentimes the freezers that we have in our home kitchens are actually too cold for gelato and it's really best served fresh. So the tips that I read online are that you wanna churn your ice cream, which takes about 20 minutes, and then freeze it only for about an hour. And that's gonna give you the optimal texture for homemade gelato. I did not know this before I froze mine, and I had frozen it for several hours, so it definitely had a slightly icier texture, but I will say that it had the most fabulous, pure strawberry flavor. You could taste that fresh cream, and you could really taste the sweet berries. It was so, so yummy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked today's recipe. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe.